Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you a new and improved recipe on how to make your very own metallic gold drip that actually tastes good. That's right, there's no painting required and it's FDA approved and non-alcoholic. The most common way cake artists achieve a gold drip is by dripping white chocolate ganache on the cake and then painting it gold. But what if you don't want white chocolate ganache on your cake or you find painting drips extremely time consuming? You wouldn't be alone. Now I have seen some cake artists make their own metallic drip basically by making the gold paint, by mixing the gold dust and alcohol and then adding some powdered sugar to make it thicker. And it works, but it doesn't taste the best. There's just too much alcohol or extract taste and not enough powdered sugar to cover it up. So I came up with a recipe that tastes good. In fact, even better, it has no taste. You just add this one ingredient to your dust. It's in your cabinet right now saying, put me in coach, I'm perfect for this. Okay, I built it up enough. Let's start blinging it out. Let's do this. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button to let me know. And if you'd like to learn how to bake and decorate more cakes and sweets, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Okay, so start with your favorite gold dust. I like to use Bake Hell Super Gold Luster Dust for drips because it's tasteless, it's 100% edible and FDA compliant, not just non-toxic. It's also kosher certified, halal certified, vegan, nut free, dairy free, and gluten free. And it's beautiful, it's super shiny. It's a great color that matches real 24 karat gold. So if you haven't found a good edible gold dust yet, this information is like gold, pun intended. <laughs> I'm a pun dork. Let me tell you there are a lot of bad edible gold dusts out there that are dull in weird colors. Be sure to check my video description below. I always love to add new products to my list of great gold dusts. So make sure whatever gold dust you're using is tasteless. And now I'm going to add just one ingredient in a one to one ratio. It's clear. It's gold. It's probably in your kitchen right now. Drum roll please. It's very simply vegetable oil. It's perfect. It's thick, it's clear, it's gold. Simply mix these two ingredients together slowly so the dust doesn't go everywhere. And voila, a beautiful gold drip. And if you dip your finger in that and taste it, you can barely taste the vegetable oil. And then you put it on top of buttercream and you cannot taste it at all. And it makes sense when you think about it, buttercream is mostly fat, and sugar. So the vegetable oil being a fat just blends right in and it's non-alcoholic. So I just added the whole four gram container of gold dust, which is about two teaspoons, and then added two teaspoons of vegetable oil. This is way more than you'll need to drip one cake, but I like to just make it all at once and put it in an airtight container for later. And then just make sure it's looking like the right consistency and you can even drip it on an upside down cup just to check before you start putting it on your cake. All right, let's put it on the cake. Simply just put a little bit of your gold on your spoon and slowly drip it onto your cake. For shorter drips, pour it a little more slowly and less liquid. And for longer drips, you can pour it just a little bit faster and a little bit more liquid. Basically, all that's happening here is gravity. The weight of the vegetable oil is pushing it down the cake. So when it gets to a lesser weight, it's going to stop and form that nice little drip that we love. I'm going to rotate the cake here so you can see what the gold looks like in natural light versus indoor lighting. I like to vary the amount of drips and definitely not do two of the same length in a row. Oh, this is so beautiful. I love gold drips. It's so shiny. These drips look the same and stay put in different temperatures. Oil never completely dries, so make sure you don't touch them. Now, if you really have a non-toxic gold dust you want to use, just do a little taste test first. So sometimes those can be kind of gritty. And if it is, you may want to do the painting technique. I have a video on this, Five Secrets to Painting Gold Drips. And I have a ton of other gold and metallic videos if you're a lover of metallics like me. 
Let me know in the comments what gold dust you use. I always love to try out new products. And please send me pictures of your blinged out cakes and sweets. I absolutely love them. Let me know in the comments what you'd like me to bake and decorate next. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this makes your life easier. Can't wait to see you next time.